So the switch works, which is great. So now let's um, install the rangefinder module and code it. Let's go. Okay, so before we mount the um, Arduino and the shield, um, if I forgot to mention, the power goes in here if you want to build this. So the ground goes in on this side and the positive goes on, the, on this side. So it's a crimp terminal and you just screw it down and you're good. Okay, so now let me show you how to... So what you need to mount it is some 20 millimeter screws. These are M3 screws and um, two standoffs like this. I don't know which ones they are. They came free in a kit I got a few uh, months ago. And a little screw that connects to here because there's no hole here. So to mount it, you're going to want to find this hole here, right there, and this hole here. So to mount it, um, these holes fit perfectly. So I mount it about this. We want to mount it like this. So the I still haven't soldered the motor wires, but we'll do that in a minute. So you gotta. So this hooks up to you because motor one and motor two are there. So to secure it, you've got to get your two M3 nuts. Oop. Yeah, nuts. And then just screw them on. Make sure they're. Sorry about that interruption. So Ow. basically, you just want to get it nice and tight. Put the nuts on. Sorry, the camera battery ran out. So next, let's install the ping sensor. Okay, so to mount the um, rangefinder module, what you want to do is, you see we've had these pins earlier, and um, my bad, it's required you put all three on, or you could just put three on here, because that's still five volts. But what you want to do is get the VCC pin, which is positive, connect it to this rail right here. And then we have on the other arm, which is a white one, is ground. So we plug that in right here. So that looks good. So now we want to take these two, which are the signal pins. We're going to plug them into analog zero and one. So the purple or trigger is analog zero. And um, analog one is receive. Next, we're going to mount the um, this thing somewhere, the rangefinder module. So. Yeah, so I want my robot to go, um, I don't know if I want it to go forward like this or like this. I want it to go like this, so I think I'm going to mount the ping sensor like right here. And maybe I could just stick it in for now. Maybe you like use a little tape, so yeah. And I'll do a better instructable and maybe I'll 3D print a mounting bracket that I mount it right here or something. So yeah, let's um, have some tape. So this is going to be a pretty ghetto way of mounting it. In the final version, I'm going to, so in like a month or a few weeks, I'm going to 3D print some stuff, and I'm going to have a final instructable on how to install it. So let me just tape this real quick. This is a really ghetto job, just so you know. <laughs> but it works, hey. I guess you can't complain if, if it works. Okay looking good and it's fairly stable so yeah. okay so I just soldered this I'm sorry the footage got um, accidentally deleted so I soldered it I ran the wires through here I might add a dab of hot glue in the future so sorry it look good now let's wire up these so now it's time to wire up the motors I've already soldered them so let me show you how it's done. I probably don't get the priority on, but I'll troubleshoot that during thing, the thing. So I'll get these wired up, and then I'll be back with you then. Okay, so we're wired up. I probably got the priority on, but okay. No one cares. I'll fix that during troubleshooting. But we are done with the hardware aspect. So I will see you in a few days to at most a week on um, software and getting this thing calibrated. So see you next time. As always, it's Thomas, and I'm Arduino Makes. Oh yeah, and thanks to Funking 3D for the um, Green giveaway. Now I have like 500 subscribers. It's so awesome. Thanks, guys. So yeah, bye.